One day I'm leaving a barrio mm -hmm. and I'm somewhere near where I get a call. It's around, uh, it's around uh, 2, 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. Hello, Dennis. Of course, he's the president. Uh, naturally, at the time, remember we were in our late 20s, so we were very excited about being in State House and all this business. So uh, when the president calls, there's a natural urge, because I remember I was driving myself, there's a natural urge to park mm -hmm. and fast talk to the president. I mean, you, if you're in a position, you're not able to continue driving when he's calling. I'm sure with Wabebe, one of these days, you get a call from a president, yes. and there's a feeling that comes with it initially when you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. So I packed, and uh, he told me, uh, why are you not supporting me? Mm -hmm. I was taken aback. I told him, Mr. President, this is now 2018, 2019. Tell him, my friend, mm -hmm. I support you. I support the big four, which was his flagship then. He said, no, it's not the big four. Why are you not supporting me? Why are you supporting William Ruto? Right. I was a bit confused. I said, uh, is there a problem of supporting William Ruto? I thought he's still your deputy. Mm -hmm. Then he said, you have to stop going to Karen and you have to stop going to the office at Harambe Annex, which is opposite office of the president. Mm -hmm. I was a bit, I, I got more confused with this conversation because there was no background on the conversation. So I told him, uh, Mr. President, I think uh, I'm, I'm not clear what uh, we are discussing. He said, hold that phone and don't disconnect. So remember, I'm packed. I'm in Moe, I'm packed. Right. I s took like 10 minutes and I decided, let me drive. If he continues, I put the phone on our speaker. If he speaks, then I will speak the call. I drove. I kid you not, he did not disconnect the call. He spoke again when I was in Pangani. Wow. From where? Me, from where? Mm -hmm. Then he told me, now my friend, I am going to crush you. Mm -hmm. What? I am going to crush you. If you continue supporting William Ruto, I'm going to finish so you. So when you, wait. I'm going to crush you. This is a president. Tell him, you know, you yes, see yes, Baba yes. Tini Zappa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, yeah, I'm going to crush you. Yes, I'm going to crush you. I'm going to finish you. Mm. I was like, what's the problem? Is, what exactly is the problem? How, how did that make you? First of all, how did that make Will he stop ten up and go on the The two? conversation at Mwea and the conversation at, at Pangani, Pangani was a clear indication that the tone and demeanor and the state of the person speaking on the other side was not the same. Mm. Uh, I leave that to your interpretation. Right. So when he started on the phone, I am going to crush you, it felt, it felt like, you know, these are president men. Yes. And you see, at the time, I had uh, declined my, I, I was in a position in state house where I qualified for a driver and, and I qualified for security. Right. I had resisted because I wanted to keep my life. I, want, I didn't want someone hanging out with me. I'm out there um, trying to chase a girl and there's <laughs> some guy there always <laughs> overlooking me. So I resisted yes. the offer from the president at the time and from the security machinery. And I also felt I had no enemies. Mm. But here is now for president saying, I'm going to crush you. I'm going to finish you. In succession, those two words were uttered. Mm. So I told him, I think, Mr. President, as from where I sit, I cannot go back on my word on supporting William Ruto. Mm -hmm. So he repeated the words again. This time now, I've cruised past Ngara and that stuff. I remember walking directly into the then deputy president's office and told him what's happening between you and your boss. And he told me there is nothing. We are okay. Mm. It's you guys who are spreading rumors around. My here. friend, Tukosawa. Yeah, Tukosawa, <laughs> Kabisa. It is you guys spreading rumors here. There is nothing. Yes. And indeed even said they had actually spoken uh, with him, mm -hmm. with, uh, with his boss then. Of course, after a few months, it was now clear that there's a divide. There's a, a divide even for him. Yes. He started thinking that there was clearly a divide. I, I, I know the next question would be what really happened. Right. I have no idea. I think the problem, however, must be my friend Uhuru Kenyatta. Because Gashagwa was his PA. Right. They, they are not in talking terms. Kimani Shungwa, I saw him on an interview with a former colleague of yours called Enoch Sikoria the other day yes. saying, look, the guy called me and I blocked him. Mm -hmm. um, when you look at Dindi Nyoro, mm -hmm. who was blasted at, at Kasarani simply because he said he had done something, he asked for some support for a school he was doing. Mm -hmm. If you look at everybody who was Uhuru's friend is no longer a friend. Even forget the campaigns. Mm -hmm. The people who supported him for the 2022 campaigns, including Sabina Chege, mm -hmm. Kanini Kega, mm -hmm. are no longer with him. Mm -hmm. Surely. The problem cannot be us. Yes. It must be him. So are you in talking terms with him, you yourself? Like if you call him today? I, I, I think the person who stopped communicating was Uhuru Kenyatta. And since he was the president, I am just a guy who is in this town trying to make a living. Right. It is up to him to, if he ever feels that he should ever give a call, it's up to him. I, I unlike Kimani Shungo, have not blocked him. 
If he called, I will pick up his call. But I am not desperate for his call. The only thing that I will never do, and it is what I told him at the time when he called, is kneel down before a fellow man. I, I don't need Uhuru Kenyatta. I d the right word is I don't give a damn whether he calls me or not. He's a, he's a, he's a kind of a guy who, who I thought when we supported him had a vision for... I mean, at one time he was telling me how much would it take to turn the life of a Kenyan in the rural area. Right, right. He had the right dreams, the right projection. We would be talking about his legacy today. Mm. But he chose the other way. Mm -hmm. He chose the other way of fighting everyone around him for absolutely no reason. Like, for instance, why would he fight Denis Itumbi? I mean, right. I, have, I don't have his wealth. I don't have his position. I don't have his kind of names and plagues he has across mm -hmm. the country. I am, I, I am a small person in mm. the view of what he's managed to build mm. for himself and what has been built for him. Mm -hmm. But time has shown us that the Uhuru Kenyatta we supported and the Uhuru Kenyatta who left the presidency of one year ago are two different people. Is it, is it people around him, do you think? Is it because, you, you, is it, you know, sometimes you are... The, uh, the, yeah, the, pre I, I, the quote unquote president's man. I, I actually have felt that from, I've, I've, from the time I started understanding politics, I've always had that. You know, when you want to excuse the president, we say this, the president is not bad, ni it's the people on Newport Wake or Kwapo. So I wouldn't blame anyone around him. It is directly on his feet. Okay. A president is a president because he is able to make decisions mm -hmm. and he is able to chart a path mm -hmm. for everyone and for the country. If he can't chat a path around the people surrounding him and he can't make decisions, then he doesn't deserve the position. Right. So I do not blame anyone around him. Right. It is rests on his feet. Okay. It didn't stop there, by the way. Mm -hmm. So he, he does that. Then 2019, on my birthday, I, I, I learn I've, I've been fired. I was actually having dinner. I learned I've been fired, which mm -hmm. is okay because I expected it. In any case, at that time, I was already ready to take the next course. Mm -hmm. And I was already decided we were going to support William Ruto. And I was convinced it was a, I was convinced we were going to beat Uhuru Kenyatta and his people. 